Hello everybody and welcome to part 16 of my Island Inception series. Uh, we have declared war on Portugal, but it remains to be seen if it was premature since it does look like uh, the Aztecs are gonna not forget about Samarkand. Uh, this is actually kinda good news for us because the whole reason we wanted to come over here is that we have an opportunity to, uh, you know, whittle down their army with our navy safely and this uh, most certainly accomplishes that um, but not only that any units that are down here are not up here and right now that seems like a really good thing so um, as much as I don't want them to take Samarkand a second time uh, I would rather that than uh, have them coming back to Tenochtitlan, because if they did, they might actually be able to stop us. Ethiopia and India now friends. Portugal and Japan now friends. Now this is really interesting, because Japan's been kind of riding ours for a while, and we just declared war against Portugal, so I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe he's uh, secretly not enjoying us. I'm going to take the lead of these two boats up here, or one movement point left, just enough to hit that. Very good. And then he'll be here... And the reason for this is we've got this extra worker that's just going to come over here to clear the camp, because why not? And we'll actually have the caravel secure this so that, yeah, like that. Okay. Dealing with this. Let's see. This boat can come down here. Probably hit that guy, right? Sure enough. So before we move him out of here, let's have this lead guy come over here. Oh, I should have looked over here first. It looks like uh, this still is what I would have decided. We'll hit that, because we can. Um, can we actually kill this thing? We Looks like we can. Very good. And we don't want to stay in range of the cannon, so let's just come back here, and that way we can act on that guy. And that seems to be the best we can do over there. Um, over here, we got two boats that can slide over. We only need one for the Goliath, so let's have him hit the pikeman. Ooh, one shot. Nice. And uh, keep in mind, the only reason we're even doing this, we don't need to attack Riga, but um, they're an ally of Portugal, and we're, we've got units here, so we don't want them to be, like, um, an actual force to be reckoned with down here. Um, we'll head towards Samarkand, but let's put a shot into this guy. It's it's XP, so I don't see why not. <clears throat> and we'll try to get this guy over here as much as possible. Let's see from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can capture from below. And this guy is now vulnerable, so we'll just back him up. It's so weird that we only found one cargo ship back there. Okay, this worker's done, so we'll just dangle him here, see if we can invite more units down. He can see us, I think, because he's his own worker. Uh, why would it... okay. Oh, whoops, like, wrong diagonal. I could have gone one tile sooner. Anyway, since all uh, those boats are coming up, we don't actually need eyes here anymore. So, I think we can uh, finally get this guy... whoops, returning to scouting. Four, three, two, one, zero. Stopped just in time. Okay, that guy's almost out of energy, so we'll let the longbowmen pick him up. Ships of the line will get plenty of uh, XP if we want them to. So, Okay, um, can we reach this tile? No, but hill, 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 we get the full form movement, so there's that. Um, <coughs> India's down to two cities. Oh, maybe soon to be one. Interesting. Okay, it is time to look at Tenochtitlan. So let's first have this guy come over here and pillage this. Now he's uh, free f free sailing, whatever. Uh, we'll hop up on the hill. Since we have altitude training, we can stack back if we need to. And this is a hill also, so we can dance here for visibility. He can probably come here next turn. We'll have like a gate of visibility through here to keep an idea of what's coming in from the southeast, because we know what's going on in every other direction. Um, this guy, I think we were going to have move into there. Very good. And so now these guys can all step, shoot, step, shoot, step, shoot. And we do have that gift trebuchet coming in from behind. So it's slow going, but we could make it work in the long run. Uh, let's dangle this worker, because I would rather have the great general come over here. 
So we spread among all of our active shooters next turn. So there we go. Uh, we have workers finishing up. Doesn't much matter. Alright, here's everything we need to keep eyes on. Oh no, that sound is so threatening. Okay, one promotion, triple stack of barrage, so that means double tap is next. Very nice. Um, let's go ahead and do that, because why not? Um, oh, look at this. We did attract somebody, so he can get into the city tile. Shoot there. He can come into the bay. Shoot there. And then we probably do need that, but not that, so that's good. Although I do see a profit here, so let us threaten to capture that. Seems like a good idea. Hastings, there we go. Let's see. Kizzle desires salt. Well, we actually have a plan to get our own salt. Once we take Porto, we can drop a citadel some up, up, somewhere up here because we actually have a second grade general coming and then we'll have salt and perhaps another citrus as well as depriving her of that extra citrus. <coughs> so that's a good plan, I think. No longer friends with Ragusa, and no longer needs help. That's fine. All right, took care of that. Did not take care of that. So it was a musket man. We got five longbowmen. Uh, we'll, we'll address that shortly. Greece has denounced Ethiopia. Portugal has denounced Greece. So everybody hates everybody. All right, he put a Gatling gun in the water. So that's interesting. Um, this is the boat that has reached, so let's definitely hit the siegers. Um, should have moved him in first, so let's do that now. Um, you are damaged, so we'll have you do the shooting of the Gatling gun, since I don't think we would need all that much. Let's see, double promoted, double promoted. So let's step up here and hit the cannon. Whoa! Very nice. Okay, well with the cannon gone, I'm actually comfortable. I wasn't going to shoot this guy because um, that would clear the path for this musket man to hit the city, but the city without a cannon here could probably withstand one musket man hit. So let's do that. Oh! Oh wait, that's actually good. That's That's the best of both worlds. We get to do a lot of damage and block his path. Nice! So that kind of worked out. Okay, he lands. Uh, thank you, Kiev Crossbowman, because that means we can free up that camp, which means he's free to come up here. And uh, might as well take a shot. It's XP. We don't care if he keeps the missionary or not, but it is free XP, so... Okay, these two get the... Uh, Galeus for free, essentially. Ship of the line goes to sleep. Longbowman alerts up. Getting into the bay will leave him for home defense. Um, construction project. We want the Hermitage, but we cannot because of Nottingham. Which only has one turn to go. So maybe this is a good window of opportunity to get another cargo ship going. We've got to keep growing that capital as best we can. We're doing everything we can. I don't think we're doing bad. So one, two, three, four. Another four move turn. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, we get to take a one hex jog there. What was that I saw up there? Do 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 where did he go? A Congolese caravel. What does that even mean? Congolese uh Hmm. Well, what's Congo? Oh, Mabanzik! Okay, okay. I guess that does make sense. Alright, so move, set up, but we don't have the movement to actually fire, which is fine. Um, so let us see. We will... Uh, first, let me get this visibility. We'll come up on a hill, come up there, it looks good. Come up on a hill, don't actually need the visibility, so we'll move back. So everything's safe down here. We can afford to pour everything into this musket man. So let's just do that now. 
Everybody's got great general spreads. So can we do it? Can we five shot them? We do. Can you reach? Yep. Nice. I wanted to use him because he's still our weakest unit, and I think he can withstand cannon and bombard, pull back, heal up. Because we want our musket mans. They're, they're our strong blockers. We want them to stay good. And this great general still influencing that pikeman, so that's really good. And the admiral here is really good too. Wish I had moved that there first. This probably would have done 15% more damage, but, you know, there you go. Okay, this caravel's freed up, so what I want to do is get eyes up here, because that's exactly the kind of thing I want to see. Where is the frigate exposed, if it is exposed? And we'll just keep this here. He can reach that. In fact, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. He can go like that, so it's 2, 4, 6, 8. It don't matter. I can't reach both. Uh, we'll put him away. Go to sleep. Um... Let's move him off. I didn't realize he had more movement. We'll move him off the worker. That way the worker's technically still dangling. He can go along the roads and capture it. And if he got there via our roads, then that means he can uh, get back. So, should be safe. Bucharest desires Machu Picchu. We've actually had a few requests for that. It's unfortunate. Oh, Coco. You know, I gotta share this with you guys. My uh, roommate had pointed out that York wants Coco. I was in the screen one time and she likes to read things on the screen. And she <laughs> said that they want chocolate for their York peppermint patties. I thought that was hilarious. So anytime you have a York doing that, there you go. Okay, Opera House is finally finished here, so we definitely got to get on that public school. Um, Pikeman, go ahead and retreat. Yeah, he got hit hard. There's no place to, like, pillage. Um, let's deal with this first. Okay. So, this guy could reach him. These two could probably kill him, which means... I don't want to leave this here because it could get shot by the Gatling gun. But if that's the only way we can get all the maximum shots in here, that's great. Because if we can kill this thing, all the better. Um, but that would mean these two would have to be able to two-shot this guy. And they did. Far out. So I don't think this guy is strong enough to take Samarkand by himself. So this 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 boat here is probably going to get beat up real good. Um, but we will be able to. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a story time episode, I guess. I just saw something... Uh, flit down out my patio window from the roof I stood up to see what it was and it was the majority of a piece of bread I throw bread out in the yard out, outside by the patio most days to feed the birds and some of the littler ones every now and then they'll like basically uh, chew off the uh, crusts and stuff and then um, why are we not? Oh, because it's a worker. Oh, I meant to move him. This is what I get for trying to talk at the same time. Um, so yeah, the leather ones will pull off the crust, and they're not always able to actually um, rip the bread apart. So every now and then we get these, like, like the centers of the pieces of bread, and they'll drag them into the neighbor's yard on accident and stuff. But one of them apparently managed to fly with it up onto the roof while it remained intact in its beak. Because it literally just fell from the roof right in front of my patio window. Okay, so anyways, that camp was actually wanted by Kiev. So that's more culture per turn. Fantastic. Always could use more culture per turn when you have... When you're in Renaissance and above. Okay, so he's dangling. Didn't take the bait. Speaking of bait, we could take this guy, and with a damaged melee in position, maybe that would mean the city attacks him. So let's just hop over here for visibility. Oh, a little bird actually came to pick it up and take it away, even though you can hear my voice. That's so adorable. Alright, so this gives us an excuse to get the trebuchet in range if we go like this. So now we have this missionary. We don't really need it or care but we might as well seize it while we have the opportunity. Um, I'm going to keep him here because we can pillage a useless tile here and actually back up out of bombard range, maybe even here to heal up in the rough. 
continue to act as a blocker and visibility because um, that gives this guy an opportunity. And we have other, you know, musket men over here, so we can do that. Okay, we took care of all of that. We took care of all of that. So let's actually start putting our shots into Tenochtitlan. Hey, hey, there's another great general born in London. So we'll do, like, the last great general land here nice and quick, get around all them hills because we're England. We got it like that. And uh, we'll continue to hit this city. It kind of healed up because we spent last turn putting all of our into musket man. So that gives you an idea of the ratio here. We're literally hitting it at only half as the rate it can heal. Um, it's not very good. We now have a trebuchet in the mix. We'll do what we can while we can. But that's uh, the reality of our situation. Um, we can dangle the worker again, I suppose. Um, here. It don't much matter where all of these guys can see. This is actually a really good array as far as that goes. All right, this worker. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this marsh. We didn't do it before um, simply because if we were to get attacked by the Aztecs earlier in the game, I wanted to have a uh, hex that they could stand on where they'd be weakened, but that's not going to be the case anymore. So we will do that. Let's come out here, stay in the deep water, and we'll put him on alert. He's going to be our home defense. Okay, we scared the prophet away. No big deal. Um, it's too bad this is in double bombard because I kind of want to start pillaging his tiles and a luxury would make a good one. But he's for defensive purposes, so let's not screw it up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, we can not trespass. That seems fine. Uh, great General's exactly where we'd want to be. Actually, no. Let's move the Great General down here. And it's nice that the, he's the last movement, because then, in fact, let me finish this. Actually, you know what? Hastings, can you grow 15 and 8, 10 and 9? That seems good. All right, I'm going to highlight the great general again, because from here he can influence this guy, which will be helpful right now, but I want to make sure I move him back to influence all of our longbowmen. Everybody who wants whales gets whales. Well, this is interesting. Coal. Bunch of coal, bunch of iron, three luxuries, lots of gold per turn. But nope. Um, the only reason to take this deal would be to save Samarkand. And I think, number one, if we don't save Samarkand, we can retake it anyways. And I think we're doing a good job of holding Samarkand anyways. Uh, meanwhile, because he's distracted with Samarkand, like, like I mentioned before, Tenochtitlan's that much more vulnerable. So I just wanted to explain all that because right off the top of my head, that's the only reason I could see to accept this. But we are going to pass because um, he's not doing a good enough job um, protecting Tenochtitlan. So. All right. So, Great General did his job. Let's go ahead and move him over like we intended. Um, range. This is good. This is good. Because that means we should be able to move... Or I should, I should say we should be able to hit this from here now, right? So good. That's good because this thing's getting beat up. And like I said before, it does look like we've managed to save Samarkand here. So maybe we can start breaking away to deal with Portugal. In the meantime, we continue to promote these guys. Oh, look, he's giving us a worker down here, um, which is nice because then we can dangle. Let's take our worker and just do a little radar here. There's something here. We are a musket man, so what's... And there's something here, too. So maybe... But we do have altitude training. Um, the only problem is, is if there's things down here, I would rather they stay focused on Samarkand, not us. So I'm thinking I'll pass on that worker. We don't actually need it or anything like that. Um, but what I can do is go back to that worker and radar here. Nothing there. And that's good to know, because now I can pillage this and move here. In fact, I probably should have had that worker come over here rather than dangling. Um, let's see. And now he's in the way of this... Okay, we get on the road there. 
Uh, as far as the missionary goes, I figure we can spread her religion over here. That way it will come to us eventually, but I don't want to actively replace our... Well, actually, you know what? In this city, it wouldn't be too bad. It would be minus two hammers. This city would be minus three. This would be minus five. We already got it here, so... I figure we can spread it over here, and that way we'll pick it up eventually, but we don't actively kill our, our uh, Pantheon, which is pretty important. Cargo ship is done, so let's get on top of this Hermitage, because it is a national wonder, which means as we take more cities, uh, it'll be harder to do. Upcoming session, whales, silk, horses, iron, all the things. Aztecs have denounced Japan, our friends. Okay, so I'm seeing two wannabe buyers of horses. Um, last we knew, Songhai was giving us one for one. He has since denounced us, so I'm not sure how good this is going to be. Um, sometimes they denounce and then they're like re really cool right afterwards. Um, so one for one is our next option. So let's just come down here and see what we can get from this guy. He only has three, so we'll do this. And then we'll go back to India. He's got six gold, so let's see if we can just unload all six for six. No? Okay, how about five for five? Four for four? Okay, that works. Well, that's actually nice, because that leaves us with two horses, and we are going to be hitting um, metallurgy Ooh. soon. Uh, iron, gold per turn. Uh, he's got almost the full value for a lump sum, so let's check our happiness. Our happiness is fantastic, because we had some things come back, so let us Ooh. definitely get that money. We're still playing from behind, technically. Um, so what does that leave us with? Any duplicates? No, just whales. And that's because we're still at war with... Okay. Alright, I think I have an idea of all of that. How much money does she have? Twelve. Okay. So if we got rid of all three, we would be down twelve happiness. We don't want that. Um, when we take Tanakhtitlan, assuming we take Tanakhtitlan, gold will now be a duplicate. And we already have silk and incense as duplicates. Silk's back in 27. Incense is back in 27 and 15. So 15, that'd be the way to go. So gold first, incense next. Uh, let's try both for seven. See if she'll round up. No? Okay. So we'll do gold first. Look at our happiness. Yeah, it's about what we would expect. All right, I'll just leave it like that. Three gold per turn isn't enough reason to, you know, screw ourselves as far as that goes. All right, down here we were looking at um, the weakened one. Actually, you know what? The weakened one can step into borders and shoot like that, right? Because then he can heal there. The one with range can hit that, and this one, of course, can hit that. All right, so you... Actually, I think it's time we take the Admiral with us as well. Because we know we can three-shot his her frigate. So let's just get ready for that kind of a maneuver. We got eyes over here. And we can't be seen there in theory. Um since we can see that, we'll free this up. He'll come over here to either keep eyes on Samarkand or keep eyes on Raiga. And we probably well, we definitely don't need to recapture this turn, so eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we capture from this top tile, which really wasn't an option earlier because we needed the... That's, we were limited in scope. So right here he can capture Porto or Samarkand. So that's a good place for him to be, I think. Uh, Pikeman, armor up. Sit tight. Sit tight. Everything's looking good on the southern front. Clear that marsh. I guess go in here and get this hill. Great General lands. Boat, 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 boat. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? Beijing, right? Yeah, they have a granary. So head to Beijing. Well, before I do that, let me just double check. I don't think we have any city-states. I don't really want to devote Navy to protecting a trade route like that right now. Uh, maybe as we get closer to capacity, that would be something. 
Um, so let's get this guy out here. Oh, cool. From the deep water tile, he can keep visibility on this, so no barbarian camps will spawn here. And then, of course, if one spawns here, it would it'd be a dead man, so no problem there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's just head due east, f clear this up, clear this up, and come down. He's on a pure scouting mission at this point. Hey, look at this. So let's step in, come over here, shoot. Can we two-shot it? We can't, so maybe we capture it. We don't, and that's fine. We don't need another caravan. I mean, as a scout, maybe that'd be fine. Um, oh, look at this. Uh, India's other city, that's why it was getting damaged. Bucharest took it over because he's allied with Greece. So that would have been a good reason to take her now because then we could have another melee ship come over here that way of Greece. I mean, we don't want to be the ones to wipe them out. In fact, if that's if he wipes them out, then our next target after Portugal can be coming over here, liberating India by way of... In fact, we could just capture Argos so we have a base of operations, liberate India by way of Vijay, and then take Delhi. That way we get their capital and they still love us. I've never done quite that maneuver, so I don't know if that's the way it would work. I don't know if you can revive a uh, sieve by way of a, a non-capital city, but it would be interesting to see. Okay, let's get our shots into Tenochtitlan this turn. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at this. He's uh, in range now and can fire. Sweet. Now, I wonder, if he was to pillage, does that take down the setting up? I don't know. Um, you know what, though? If we... Oh, crap, I had forgotten about that. When I came here, I forgot we wanted to start moving melee in. Um, otherwise, the trebuchet just gets hit, and right now we could really use the trebuchet. Alright, so I'll have him come here. He'll be on flatland. He'll almost certainly be the target. We can pillage and jump off. Yeah. Because we are threatening capture. Oh, wait. No, we're not. He doesn't know that we're altitude training necessarily. Well, shucks. I don't want to pillage this holy site, but I guess we kind of have to get in range. I got to be on the tile that I can pillage and get out of bombard range. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And the great general's way over there, so. Oh, well. Not much we can do about it. Okay, passing the turn. He's still coming after Samarkand. Yeah, Samarkand built its own worker. Okay. Industrialization based on machinery. Already okay, industrialization. A lot going on here. Wow, we're getting hit hard. When did it jump up to 60? It was 51 last time I saw. That's bad. That's bad. But it is good that he continues to f uh, hit our melee. Ooh, he's dangling a great general. That's not wise. Okay. Let's see here. Shoot. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we have a decision to make here. We can take our shots from here, or we can use this turn to pay and upgrade these guys, in which case they can step and shoot next turn. Both of these guys can step onto their previous hills and shoot. In fact, I should have had this guy step and shoot. Um, it does seem like we could capture at our current rate but Gatling guns are not only stronger at shooting, but they're stronger at getting hit. So we give up a pair of shots at 18 strength to be able to start hitting at 30 strength next turn. I think it's worth it. That is a tough choice, though. I'll tell you what. That's a tough choice. Okay, get over there. You should have been in starting pillaging that. Yeah, I screwed up when I didn't move that worker there and dangled it instead. This could be finished. We could be standing there, get hit again. But at least here we get to actually armor up. <sighs> okay, coal discovered.
Oh, we settled on top of it. Well, that's fantastic. And we, uh, this is not only the city that's trailing the most in terms of speed of building the public school, but it's also in need of another specialist slot. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase the factory here. Um, we'll slot in one. We'll slot in another. There we go. Um, and we'll have the Capital Ditch Hermitage in favor of its factory. And then when we get the money, we will buy a third factory. And then we should be on to ideology. So there's the plan for all of that. Coal discovered. We dealt with that. Lacopan desires cocoa. And it grows, doesn't matter. Demands gold. Well, we got that coming. London demands pearls. We've seen that in a city state, but we're not in a position to buy city states. Silk collected for, connected for Valenius. Oh, I totally forgot we needed to keep that. Egypt has denounced the Aztecs. Alright, so iron Whoa. returns to iron at the same time. That seems suspicious. Did we? It's almost as if up upgrading from longbows freed up iron, but obviously that's not the case. Okay. On to metallurgy and then rifling. What is steam pirate? Ironclad is an upgrade for Caravel. That requires coal. Okay, good to know. Because I was just thinking, okay, what do we do with our coal, our excess coal? <clears throat> I don't think we necessarily need an upgraded melee, but those would hit very hard, so yeah. I don't know that that's where we'll go, but we definitely want metallurgy and rifling. Um, this will be the last two techs that we need just to, you know, deal with the Aztecs. After that, especially if we can take Tenochtitlan, um, he'll be relatively neutralized. Our military will be such that we'll be good to go. All right, this lone musket man does not bother me. Um, this guy with range can finish that off. So I'm going to use Samarkand's waters to heal this ship of the line. <clears throat> Frigate shows its head. Very good. Um, so let's get the Admiral into position. And we can start shooting at him. We've got three, exactly three ship of the lines here. So that works out. Boom. That seemed like a light one. Nice. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, because if we had another one, this guy's exposed. We could totally hit him. Um, for this reason, we want... We're allies here, so we already have eyes. This is the way we would want eyes. Right here. And we come over here. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, have him come over here, protect the worker. Don't know if and when the worker's going to land, but now this guy, um, he'll be free to go next turn. We only need three to hit frigates, so let's see. If I move out, we could start four-shotting the city. Is that good enough? Or do we heal up one turn and wait till both of these get over there and start five-shotting the city? I think we go. Uh, the backfilling boats can, uh, whatever ones need to stay in Porto to heal up we, while we go on to Lisbon or something like that. Um, let's see. This area still seems secure. Uh, maybe we can tempt him, I don't know. Um, let's have him come over here. There we go. So we can shoot this worker and we can shoot. Oh no, we can't shoot that worker, because I just occupied the only hex it would be safe to do that from, right? Not really. We can just be on top of it, no big deal. Um, and then we can come over here and shoot this worker, just because XP, it is XP. Pretty sure. Okay. Let's see. One, two, roads, roads, roads. Wow. That was a lot, all at once. Good deal. Great general. <clears throat> we'll move down this way um, because we no longer need to support this guy. These two are going to step forward. He'll step in. So he'll be within influence, and right now we really need to protect this guy. 
So that's the way we're going to do that. Can we actually get in the water this turn? We can. Sweet. Nice. Heal. Get onto that hill. Uh, is this an expired trade route? It is. And I think we have another one that's starting this turn, don't we? There it is. Feeding London. So London grows in nine. London grows in six. Better. Better, better, better. Alert up. And that is everything. Okay, let me just take a quick look at caravels. We have two right now. Um, if we do capture a now along the way, we'll have another one. So that would be three coal, and then, of course, four coal. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure next turn one of these coals will free up because we bought the factory. And when you complete construction, you free that up. So we would need four. We already did that. We would need three, five, and we have seven. So we could actually afford to sell two off, probably. Or since we plan on, since we're doing real good on the navy, we can just keep the coal and planning uh, plan on spitting out a couple of ironclads whenever we get a break in our build queue. It'll have to be till after London gets its finished. But uh, yeah, coming along nicely. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Please enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.